Hello. The following exclusive interview is presented by H.S. Clark, author of Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, part of the Dr. Powers mystery series. For more interviews and information on Immortal Fear, a medical thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com. This is Author Spotlight featuring Vicki Judera, author of Deal Killer. Hello, I'm H.S. Clark, and I'm here in beautiful Long Beach, California at the BoucherCon World Mystery Convention. And I'm lucky today because I've got Vicki Dudera here, one of our outstanding authors. And uh, Vicki, uh, tell us a little bit about your new book. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, I am the author of the Darby Farm Mystery Series, starring a smart and savvy real estate agent who's an amateur sleuth. Um, she finds herself in, involved in transactions with unbelievable properties, but she's also in an unbelievable amount of danger. So it's kind of the, you know, the, an ordinary person in extraordinary situations. And you, it's a right what you know situation it because is. you are a real estate agent. That's exactly right. And in fact, um, I had been a nonfiction writer before I went, um, before I went into real estate, and I was a full-time nonfiction writer. What have you written in the nonfiction genre? Well, I've written a book called Moving to Maine, which is coming out in a third edition. That's been very popular, sort of a guidebook for people relocating, uh, where to retire in Maine. But I used to write magazine articles up the yin-yang. You took an interesting course because rumor has it that back in 1986, you opened up a Victorian uh, bed and breakfast type right. of uh, establishment in yes, Maine. Yes, that's exactly right. My husband and I ran, uh, ran an inn for 12 years. We sold the inn and I thought, great, this is my chance to be a full-time writer. Well, what happened was I really missed that constant flow of people coming in. And I thought, hmm, you know, and at that time I was trying to write fiction and not in, instead doing nonfiction. I thought, well, you know, what can I do? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go into real estate. The minute I sit in the very first real estate class, and, that, and the teacher's talking about all the things that can go wrong with a real estate transaction, I thought, this is it. This is my mystery series. So that's when I started them. And um, there are five books out. The fifth one just came out. I'll just show your, show your viewers here. Just came out in April. It's called Deal Killer. And this one takes place in Manhattan. But my um, sleuth Darby Farr travels around to different places, and she's always in unbelievable, you know, buildings and unbelievable homes, but also dealing with murder. And um, your one of, one of the books in the series, Final Settlement, was uh, named Best Cozy of the Year That's in right. 2013. Yes, I was very, very happy to see that, the fourth book. But the first book also, which is called A House to Die For, um, that was also chosen as a best read of... Oh. 2010 when that one came out so yeah I've been pleased and then this year I've had some success with uh, short stories which has been tell really us great. about that yeah I'm in an anthology that just came out um, in April called ice cold and that was put out by mystery writers of America hmm. and that was actually like a contest anyway that those are all stories about the Cold War and that was very very fun to write you were also part of the anthology rogue wave right rogue wave one is my second oh and oh. you know writing short stories is completely different at least I find it that way from writing a novel they're fun, they're difficult. Um, you know, you really have to crystallize the action down and ha you have a very small cast of characters. But I find it a really fun break, something different to do, and a you know, really nice creative challenge. Now, you're still uh, uh, a resident of Maine. I'm still a resident of Maine, is, yes. Is, and, and the rumor is that you like to play ice hockey? I play ice hockey up there. You know, it's a long winter. You've got to do something. You know, those ponds freeze. You've got to get your skates on. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I, I'm a physician, and, and uh, I remember a colleague with a T-shirt uh, it was a very uh, big ice hockey fan. The T-shirt said, uh, uh, play hockey, and on the back it said, give blood. <laughs> so I'm surprised to see you actually have all your teeth. Uh, yes, I do. I wear a mouth guard. Yes, that's, I that's do. That's a very rough sport. But I have sport. a broken ankle thanks to ice hockey oh, okay. and a broken collarbone, which oh, just happened so you a little did while the thanks office to on the cycling. Ice hockey. I'm a cyclist, too. Oh, you are a cyclist. You know, you're going to do these things once what in a sort while, of, you're What fall. sort of adventures <laughs> have you been on cycling? Well, um, the thing that it always surprises people is I'm part of an annual ride in Maine called the Trek Across Maine, which is a benefit for the American Lung Association. Yes. And I have done that six times, so biked across the state of Maine. Wow. And then my husband and I were also lucky enough to bike across Italy, which wow. was many, many hills. The, at the end of every day, it said, you know, enter, enter Orvieto, begin climb, and now, you would... Oh, these hills. <laughs> I was I was uh, fortunate enough to spend a summer uh, two summers ago in Maine, and uh, they, everything there is uh, it starts with the lobster on your table, and then <laughs> and then it goes to lobster ice cream. But I don't know how you can live in Maine. I, I, I've heard that you are allergic to I lobster. I am allergic to lobster, and you know you have it's. it's I didn't think it's they'd it's let you in. Ubiquitous in Maine, right? 
I know, and I have a lobster license plate and then the whole nine yards. But I just have to be careful when I go to things because people do sneak lobster into everything there. So if you are a lobster lover, Maine's a great place to come. <laughs> and as part of your amazing versatility, um, I heard you've got a TV show in the works. I have just started that. We're Tell us starting, about it. starting a hyper local kind of uh, TV station in my area, which is Midcoast Maine. And so it's fun. I'm going to be able to be doing what you're doing. Well, HS, that would be great. Which is great. so cool. I'm going to be interviewing Maybe I'll, I'll have an excuse to come yes, to Maine for an I would interview. I love it. I yes, love we'll it. Turn anybody the tables. watching should get in touch with me. Um, it's called Village Soup TV, VSTV. And, uh, and you will be interviewing be authors and such? Uh, yes, authors and artists. What's next after, uh, uh, deal, after deal Killer? Yeah, well, after Deal Killer, I do have a book six kind of in the works for Darby. Um, and that is tentatively, I think it's going to take place in Maine and in England. Oh. So I may have to go do some research. Oh, that England. would be uh, just a, such a sacrifice yes, to really, have to go to England to really. do your research. I know. Yeah. But I'm also writing a nonfiction book about Mount Katahdin in Maine, which is the highest mountain in Maine. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be called Death on Katahdin, Misadventures in Maine's Baxter State Park. Uh, I heard a rumor that you... Uh, Bumped into Walter Cronkite once. <laughs> yeah, Walter Cronkite was he your inspiration? sat next to me at, the, at a screening of the Manchurian Candidate. Oh, my goodness. And we actually talked after it was such a thing. He used to sail his yacht up the Maine coast and used to come to Camden oh, quite a bit, my town. I didn't so, peg him for a Maine person. Yeah, well, the other day, just, you know, when you're in Maine, man, it's a small... Small state, and right. you bump into luminaries all the time. We have several oh. uh, Pulitzer Prize winners who live in my town. Oh. David McCullough. Oh, wow. Um, Rick, Rich Russo. Mm -hmm. Tess Gerritsen also lives there. Tell us about uh, what's coming next for, for in the Darby Far series. In the Darby Far series? Okay. Well, this one, Deal Killer, takes place in Manhattan. Um, and the, um, the next one will take off where this one kind of leaves off. And it will involve, I haven't quite, I've got it a little scoped out, but it will involve. Give us a sneak preview. No spoilers, but okay. we love sneak previews. I try to bring them to you here. <laughs> this next one will involve Darby going from Maine, from her little town of Hurricane Harbor, um, over across the pond, as we say, ah. um, to England, uh, to track down a case where um, in some antique copper has been stolen. Um, and but there will also be, as I as I as I write my books, those of you who read them know, I always in the beginning have the murder and the prologue, so the murder will take place right off the bat. And Darby will get involved in that and have to figure that out. Um, and uh, I believe that her uh, love interest, m investigative journalist Miles Porter, will also be in that one. And when is the next one coming out after Deal Killer? The next one will be 2016, because in 2015 I'm doing the Katahdin book. Ah, and the one Katahdin only book. has so much time. You've also got a nonfiction. <laughs> you also got another uh, moving to Maine coming nonfiction. Out in You're revising also. your old one. Yes. Yes. Well. So. Yeah, uh, it's fun to go back and forth, you know. It all it all uses kind of different parts of your brain and nonfiction is creative also but in a different way. And I, I like to switch back and forth and the same thing with the short stories. It just kind of keeps You're doing the short fresh. stories, the nonfiction, the fiction, the television. Well, I'm gonna interview you on my T V show. And maybe That's interview sure. me, you'll right. be an interviewer as well. <laughs> it doesn't seem any end to your talents, Vicky. <laughs> I gotta sell a house here and there too. Oh so. you do, yeah. It's, which is harder, writing or selling houses? Uh, well, writing, come on out with it. Let us writing know. Writing is harder. Writing sure. is harder than selling but houses. But it's enjoyable. Wow. It's enjoyable. I mean, oh. you know. Yeah, I mean. Uh, the thing with selling houses, though, once in a while you do have that difficult client, but the good thing about being a writer, especially one who writes a murder mystery series that involves real estate, is when I have a difficult client, I just think, I'm killing you off. So <laughs> that makes it great. <laughs> Fabulous. Tell us once again your website address. It's uh, vickidudera.com, and that is spelled V-I-C-K-I-D-O-U-D-E-R-A. I don't know if you can see it on this because it's kind of... It's and this is Vicky's book, Deal Killer. It's out now. Uh, it's the fifth book in the Darby Farr uh, series, and it is available right now. Vicky, it's, it's been fabulous talking to you. Thank you. On behalf of myself, H.S. Clark at BoucherCon, thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching this exclusive interview presented by H.S. Clark, author of Immortal Fear and Medical Thriller, part of the Dr. Powers Mystery Series. For more interviews and information on Immortal Fear and Medical Thriller, visit hsclarkmystery.com.